Ooh, that was fast. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. It is Wednesday evening, and you know what that means? Bolo time. We don't always have bolo on Wednesday, but tonight we're having bolo video on Wednesday. Hello, everybody. It is Margaret, and thank you for coming to check out my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Today's video is a bolo video, and many of you ask when I don't explain what that means straight up front, and bolo stands for be on the lookout for um, an item when you are out thrifting or garage selling or at estate sales, something that you can pick up to resell for a good profit. And this video would not be possible if it weren't for the amazing members of my two Facebook groups. One is International League of Thrifters, and the other is Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. And I have those linked down below, so if you're interested in joining in, definitely go down and join those groups. Also, if you enjoy these videos, make sure you go over and share in the next thread. The ones for today are closed off, but as soon as the video is over, I'm going to pop up a new reseller bolo thread so that you can share and participate and thank you. <laughs> I appreciate everybody who, who did participate on this one. I always learn something new and I that is this one is absolutely no exception. I'm learning so much from the bolos that you guys are sharing. So, also, if you are sharing in the thread, you can also share your social media. Let's say you've got a YouTube channel, you're trying to get that YouTube channel rolling, you're sharing great information. There's a lot of resellers out there nowadays that have YouTube channels. Uh, and so if you want you know, a little bit of extra exposure or if you have a Facebook group or uh, an Instagram or Facebook, whatever, Facebook page, you know, pop that in there and I can say, you know, share that out as well. So we're all scratching each other's backs here. Okay, so I am live, so I want to say hey in the chat. Hi, Murphy the Esky. Oh, and I did write in there, if you enjoy these videos, if you enjoy my videos, go share the channel. If you enjoy the bolos, um, go share and let people know that I'm live. And, or if you're watching later, share, because that's how, I mean, it goes for any content creator. Um, that's how they know that people like the videos that they're creating and will make more of that. So if they have a video that just like flops, then they're like, I'm not going to do that again. So if you enjoy it, go share, like, comment, do all those nice things um, so that I know and they know if it's a different person other than me that they should continue doing that. Is water co for red solo? We are, everything is red solo cups right now because we're moving. So yes, I have my water. <laughs> it is water. Now, there's that, that water. I have a different cup of water. Anyway, <laughs> um, so hello, hello in the chat. Hi, latest Grace. It's Tina. Hi, Saltwater Fisher and Diane. Hey, Kaylee and Cheryl. Hi, Mary and Debbie. Um, hey, Amy, Pamela, Melissa, and Twisted Drifters. Hi, Ravina. Hello. Hi, Evil Eve and Carol and Sandra. Hello. Thanks so much for being here. I think I got all the preliminaries out of the way. I think. Okay, and you know, when I get started, I start talking so fast. I just have to slow down. I just do. All right, let me go ahead and flip over and we'll get started. So this is what the thread looks like. So if you go into International League of Thrifters or Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, this is what you'll, um, this is the thread that you'll look for. It looks like this. All right, so let's get started. And Mary is our very first one. So Mary... Oh, you know what? I'm going to need to pull that out over here. There we go. So I have, have it to look at. So Mary shared, hmm, hang on. I had this all worked out and then I'm going to make me scooch over because I, I had it all fixed. And then of course something happened. It always happens. And I couldn't see the rest of it. There we go. Cause I want you to see the words too. That's, that's part of it. Okay. So Mary shared in the Bolo thread. Um, so, and I'm not sure I'm saying that right. S O W E. Um, teak wood sells well. She said, I actually took a best offer for this vintage teak wood butter dish. Their stuff is very MCM, which stands for mid-century modern, and sells really well. So here is this, and it sold for $35. Now, what I like to do on these bolo videos, oh, I'm not even on the screen. What I like to do on the bolo videos is not just share what the people what the people are sharing but also to go into eBay and the solds and find out 
is it just the butter dishes or is it all of their things? Are there very specific things that we should be looking for so that we know when we're out, we're not just like spending the money on any of it. Okay, let me fix this and then I'll show you the research that I pulled up. I had these done, you guys. I was so prepared and proud of myself. Okay, uh, da, da, da. Okay, there we go. I've got too many windows open. Too many. All right, so, so, and if I'm saying that wrong, y'all write it phonetically for me. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here we go. There were not a lot. So it's something definitely to keep an eye out for. So this is one, I'm going to have to fiddle with it again, um, that was on auction for 19 bucks, sold for $19. And then, um, hang on. I went ahead and clicked off of sold just to see what else was out there. And again, not a whole lot. There was this curved appetizer serving platter that someone had up for $139.99 and then another one for $59.99, this tobacco jar. So um, there's a bit out there. So I guess keep your eyes open for it. I want to see, let me go back to hers and see if she had a, um, if she shared what the mark looks like, because that's helpful. We need to see what it looks like. The mark. Hang on, let me pull it up. Come on. Here. All right, so it looks, ooh, okay. So it looks kind of like this, kind of, that looks kind of burnt in. And then this, I, yeah, it looks like it's kind of burnt in there. So keep an eye out for that, definitely. Because it doesn't look like there's a ton up there. I should have looked on Etsy, too, because I bet this would have sold great on Etsy as well. Um, you bet a lot of people don't sell that. Yeah, they probably keep it for themselves, right? It's awesome. They say so on the bottom. Sweet. Okay, so that's awesome. All right, so let's take a look. Also, Mary has a... Let me close out of these. She has a YouTube channel, and she does have videos. So she's got, i got to show you how to fix that. But if you click on videos, she does have videos. So there's that. Um, so her YouTube channel is called Darshi Thrifts. So go subscribe to Mary's channel. Okay, next up, beautiful. And, oh, let me jump, jump in the chat real fast because I see the chat going. That butter dish went cheap comparatively. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, thanks, Canadian Mama. This is my sanity. <laughs> she says, thanks for making uh, so many videos. Oh, if you're watching later, the, the chat is over on the side or it's on the bottom down below when you're on your phone. This is my sanity. This is my grown-up time. <laughs> so I got to do it. I got to do it. Okay, Karen Holt shared this item in the thread. She wrote, Big Sky Carver Carvers items bought in a box lot for under a dollar an item sold in a day for 47 plus shipping had six watchers probably could have gotten about twenty dollars more these come in different sizes different animals bigger ones go higher so this beautiful puffin sold for 47 plus shipping oh hey Thelma <laughs> that was in the chat okay um so I went ahead and looked up Big Sky Carvers, and she was right. There's tons of different stuff, um, and the price ranges vary as well. So I thought we would do a little digging, because as you can see, you know, light switch for $10.99, which is, you know, it's okay, it's steady. Then there are a few smaller figures, and I didn't, um, normally I will um, show you just the best, uh, best off, no, buy it now ones, because that's usually what I do, but I left it all on this time, so we could just see. Um, hey Tam, Tam's place is here too. Hey everybody, the gang's all here. Hey guys. So let's take a peek. And now I've seen this kind of bear before. Barefoots figurines by Big Sky Carvers. Okay, so that, that went for 33 bucks. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I was looking and I was like, well, there's really lots of different things and lots of different price points. So what I thought we would do, look, even cookie jars, um, was let's go back and do a search for the highest price. Let's just see what was the highest price plus shipping. Oh, wow, coffee table. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, look at this one with the bear. Okay, but I mean, if you're not afraid of shipping big things, then and knowing that you could get 350 bucks for this bear coffee table, might be worth it. The woodpecker. Okay, that one's not too, I mean, it's big, but it's not enormous. You could easily ship that. 330 bucks. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like some of the bigger, the bigger carvings, um, 
And maybe, well, the bear, I was going to say, you know, like the birds seem to be doing well. Fly fishing, buffalo, like another one of the coffee tables. All right. So definitely keep an eye out for the big ones and birds, it looks like. Here's some duck decoys. Yeah, a lamp. Okay. I'm looking. I didn't dig. I, you Normally, I have it all digged out and everything for you, but I thought, well, I'll just, I'll just, We'll look at it together. How about that? Um, so much money in the bric a -bac -oh, that's for sure, Thelma. Okay, so that's that. And um, Karen has a social media site called East Lane Avenue. So go over and follow her on Facebook at East Lane Avenue. Let me scoot it over so you can see it really good. East Lane Avenue is what it looks like right there. Okay, so next up, this was shared by Bess. Um, Bess Abrams, so I bought this cast iron duck paperweight by North Brothers today for a dollar and sold it already for $35. Okay, so I went over and looked, I'm clicking the wrong thing. I was like, why isn't it going? So North Brothers, and I did North, at first I searched North Brothers and a lot of different stuff came up. So then I thought, let's search North Brothers cast iron. And I saw some really interesting things. Uh, these are not sold. Hang on, let me click sold. But I'm seeing like tree stands. But seriously, I would not ever look at a Christmas tree stand, usually. But these cast iron Christmas tree stands by North Brothers. Look at the prices on those. hundred. Those aren't sold yet. Let's look at sold. Hang on. All right, so here we've got one on auction. I mean, it just looks like a simple little... Christmas tree stand. I guess now they're all plastic, aren't they? Yeah. Um, primitive um, ice shaver. Here's hers, duck decoy paperweight. Um, but here's another one. Okay, see, these ones are selling for about 35, 40 bucks. And then this is a sad iron, antique fluting sad iron. Hmm, okay. So keep an eye. I generally like to look at things that are cast iron. I know there's a lot of reproduction stuff out there, but... It's definitely worth a peek. Look at this one. Hand crank bench mount drill cast iron. 202 bucks. There's definitely a market. So, yeah. Oh, look. Even, oh, wait. This is something else. This is, see, when I typed in north, it, it would pulled up all this other stuff, too. Okay. Hey, thank you. Yeah, if you like this um, kind of video, please share. Please let people know and uh, like and comment and do all those nice things so that, that we all know that that's what we like. <laughs> okay, next up, Callie, and I, I have to say, you guys, there were so many things here that I, it was new for me, too. Um, I, I like looking through the office supplies when I go to estate sales, so this was right up my alley. Um, Callie McGrath shared vintage typewriter paper. I've had this listed for three or four months at Buy It Now for 85 bucks, but finally sold it today for a best offer of $35. Paid nothing for it from a family estate. Some do sell in the higher range up to a hundred bucks. Um, I think the onion skin paper is a bestseller, but I was ready to let it go. It takes the right buyer, but it will sell and can be found relatively cheap in estate sale situations. I absolutely agree. Cause you get into those estate sales and some of the, you know, when they get to the office stuff, I mean, they just, it's so cheap. I love going through the, like the sewing room and the office stuff at estate sales. I don't know, because you can find amazing things. So this was her listing for a vintage typewriter paper here that sold. Um, so I did search by Buy It Now, and some of it was, you know, not that awesome. But then look, Southworth typewriter paper, $32.50. I mean, a lot of times at estate sales, it's next to nothing. It's so cheap for some of this stuff. Here we've got 12 vintage tablet um, typewriter paper. There's that one for $50. Onion skin, Eaton Berkshire typewriter paper, 20 bucks. So definitely, look here again, onion skin. Pardon me, you guys. Um, onion skin typewriter paper, 75 bucks. So yeah, keep an eye out when you go to the garage sales and estate sales. Take a peek at the, at the paper and things like that. And I did look up typewriter ribbons too, um, but they, I was surprised they weren't as much as I thought they might be, you know. Still, I mean, it's a good, here's a lot of six for 30 bucks, but then some of the others were just like, meh, you know, seven bucks, 13 bucks. They're okay if you've got them, you know. 
But anyway, so something to think about when you're out. Okay, next up, this was shared by Sally Martin. Um, she wrote, I found a bunch of Stampin' Up! sets at Thrift, snatched them up all for a buck to a two fifty dollars each, sold the first one today for $26.95 plus shipping. And I got to say, take a look at how she did her listing. So she's got all these Stampin' Up! rubber stamps, and then she, so this is not selling, selling all of them. She has the uh, different sets here, so you select the set you want, and then pay the price like that. So here it is. So I was curious about these stamping ups. <laughs> Let's take a peek. Um, okay, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna jump back in the chat. I just realized I missed stuff in the chat and I just kept plowing through. All right, so let's look at these and then I'll jump back in the chat. Okay, so here we go, Stampin' Up. Again, I didn't pre like pull any. I just like, let's just get these tabs open and get this party started. So, I mean, 11, 12 bucks, but let's take a look at um, Buy It Now, because that's normally what I do, just because. So here's one, a cafe set and a frame for $47. So it looks like some, it just kind of varies. Some are good, some are so-so. I bought a ton of stamps at a garage sale a while back. I can't even remember what I did with them all now. I can't remember if I sold them locally. But I bought a ton. I remember buying them, but now I can't remember exactly. So it looks like if you get them for the right price, here's an Easter looking one, a uh, spring. Let's do sort by highest price. So that might give us an idea of what kind of things might be better choice. Ooh, a lot. Okay. A lot of 40 Stampin' Up! sets sold for 250 bucks. That's awesome. Okay. Huge lot, hundreds, tons of stamps and more, 189 bucks. So it looks like even if you haven't got, maybe that's what I should have done. Just lot those puppies up and sold them. Gosh, what did I do with them? <laughs> Here's another large lot, uh, 192 bucks. Okay, so I'm seeing the lots of them going pretty well. Look at these. They must have been standing on something like they were upstairs or something. I don't know. Um, Pop-up paradise, pop of paradise. Hmm. Okay. All right, so just... Keep your eyes open. If you see them cheap, grab them up and lot them up. It looks like that's what's doing pretty well. Okay, let me look. I know, right, Rihanna? She's like, what? Um, let me peek in the checks. I really just let it go. And I don't even know how many people are watching right now because I don't have the right tabs open or I have too many and I can't find it. Let me see how many people are watching real fast. Okay, 64, go over there and hit the thumbs up, you guys while I'm looking at it, while I'm checking on you. And, hey, hey. Okay, so yeah, brick a brack Oh, Big Sky logo. That is the one thing I did not look up. Okay, or didn't share anyway. Uh, Big Sky logo. Now I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to pull it up again. Okay, I'll have to find out and then drop it in the in the group because it'll take me forever to start digging around looking for it. Um, uh, here, Tim says, I've given up on eBay. I guess it's just not for me. My antique booth and Posh are doing great. I can't wait to start on Poshmark. I kind of started before we got into the whole move, but now it's, yeah, everything's on hold. So when I move, it'll be it'll be nice. Oh, hey, Mo's there. Hey, reseller niche, how's it going? Um, <laughs> I went in and trolled his video earlier. So I guess it's his turn, but he's being really nice. <laughs> um, jokingly trolled, not mean. So I'm looking, I know I saw some questions. Um, oh gosh, okay. Maybe I'm, okay, Tim says, I'm thinking about trying Etsy. Gotta get my garage cleaned up before that though. I love Etsy, yeah, I totally, I totally love Etsy. And uh, do, do, do. Okay, okay. All right, let's keep going. Okay, yeah, crafters will pay pay big money for the for the stamps and stuff. All right, next up, if you guys have questions as we go, let me know and I'll pay closer attention to the chat. All right, mm -hmm. Claire. Okay, Claire Torres shared this, and I I would have 
pick these up. I love them. Take a peek at the bowls at your local thrift. I am not a bowl expert, but I just stood in the aisle and started typing up the brands I was seeing. And they, these were a win. And that's a really good strategy because sometimes things look, I mean, to me, I'm thinking this looks like what? I mean, just wait till we get to the jewelry bolos in just a minute, because there are things in this jewelry bolo today that I have seen in my jewelry jars and thought, this is garbage. This looks so gross. It's even like, ugh, it even looks gross. And there's one that's sold. Okay, just wait. Okay, but this is a really good idea. If you don't know, and you've got a minute, go into the aisle and just start typing in the brand names and find out. And these have got a nice mid-century modern look to them as well. So I could see that um, they would go for good money. So this is a lot of two Volrath bowls, double wall. I don't know where they're from, but they sound Danish. Volrath, where is that from? Okay, and there is a mark. Let's get to that. So Volrath, oh, made in China, never mind. But the name sounds like Viking, right? Um, so yeah, but they look really cool. So two Volrath bowls sold for $34.16. Nambe, okay. Heather says Nambe is good. I'll have to look that up. Okay, so I did a search for Volrath, just straight, um, sold listings. And this is a meat press, like a, you know, a meat press. 20 bucks. Here we've got a commercial oven, 500 bucks. They've got all kinds of kitchen stuff. Cast iron, $27.99. Um, yeah, I mean, they all seem to be... Some of them seem to be kind of commercial, you know, like here are the super pan. These are just, are they just the lids? Pans? Yeah, they're pan lids for 10 bucks. But they look like those commercial type lids, you know, for, I don't know what you, what you call it, you know, when you're at the, when I, okay, they look like the ones that when I go to my, my local taqueria, habaneros, and they've got like the line cooks there making all the tacos and everything. They look like the ones that they use to cover like the, the salsa and the pico and all that good stuff. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> I was like, I've got to put this into context. Habaneros is delicious. Okay, so here we more here we have more. Gosh, I'm tongue-tied today. Uh, used stainless steel super pans, a lot of 10 for 30 bucks. Yeah, I mean, I could see, let's do a sort by highest price. How about that? Do -do -do. Whoa. Um, okay, yeah, they look like commercial things. Okay. What? Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to keep going because I'm just like, wow, these are really commercial big units of stuff. So, yeah, range. <laughs> okay. Do they have to be in great? Well, I don't. I don't think so, Pamela. As far as cast iron, like skillets and stuff goes, um, but I know there's a ton of videos out there on cleaning them, how to clean them and everything. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> tacos. Yeah, habanero tacos are amazing over here. Their breakfast. Oh gosh, so good. Okay, next. Uh, before I jump into this one, let me double check the chat. Um. No, this is true. Thelma says, everything is made in China doesn't necessarily equate with shoddy quality. No, this is so true. Everything, yeah, a lot, many things are made in China for sure. Yeah. Some of their stuff is, okay, cool, cool. All right, so next up, Sally Martin shared these, and I would have, I don't sell shoes very much. There's a few brands that I know of, but these are ones that I probably would have walked right by. Um, they are Infinity. Evolution cheer shoes. Sally said I paid maybe a dollar for these at a garage sale because my daughter, the jock, pointed them out. I told her I'd split the profit if they sold. Took a best offer of $65 plus shipping. Um, and then Sharon in, in the thread also shared, you know, the same thing about Dansko shoes. They got me started into buying to resell on eBay. Pointed out by a medical daughter years ago when we were thrifting for decor for her apartment. She says those are worth way more than $6. So yeah, there's definitely money in shoes if you know your brands. Um, so let's take a look at these Infinity Cheer shoes. I wanted to show, I mean, you can see they're, they're used. I mean, they're not in a horrible shape at all, but the inside, the in, 
what is it called again? I'm going to say it wrong. Infinity. But it looks like a little infinity sign, but kind of like squared off on the ends. So take keep a look out for that infinity sign. And here are some solds. Um, these sold for $15. That was on auction. But some, you know, $35.99. These ones are in really good shape. Looks like $99. These look, you know, kind of rough. Uh, 50 bucks. Those are youth ones, size two. Wow, that's like little girl ones. Um, bless you, Mimi. Look at these. I mean, these look like they're pretty worn out. 35 bucks, 70 bucks. So I will definitely be on the lookout. Look at these Infinity Titan. Those look like the like ankle boots. Um, 119. Wow. Okay. So I see some other shoes in the. Okay, Heather's saying Griswold's a good brand for cast iron. Tam says, always look for cast iron skillets that have a smooth bottom. The ones that aren't smooth stick really bad and have had no luck seasoning them. Also, I'm still looking for a smooth bottom one. Hard to find. Okay. Um, Joanne says, Evaporust is a great cleaner for cast iron and is biodegradable and non-toxic. Great. Uh, Heather says, Birkenstock's another good brand to, um, to look for. Yeah, Twisted Thrifters says, I walk right past these until my daughter said something. Is that you, Twisted Thrifters? Is that you, Sally Martin? Because do you have a, a channel? Because I could be sharing that. Okay, we'll move on. Let me know. Because then I'll share your channel. Um, boom, boom. And next. Okay, so the next one is from Ginny. Ginny Lorette said, I paid $5 for this at the thrift store and really wanted to keep it. If you don't know Ginny, she's really into Christmas. You'll see in a second. Um, so I priced it high enough that if it's sold, I can buy 15 more. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't be afraid to price your items high. You can always come down, but never go back up. I need to price everything like I want to keep it. Second moral is Christmas sells in the spring and summer. So this is a Norman Rockwell Santa at the Globe. And this is really, you know, a nice one. Her pictures look really nice. Has, has eBay changed their policy about collages? Because I thought they wouldn't let that fly. I can do it on Etsy, but I guess so. I'll find out. So here it is. Let me see the bottom. Okay. Saturday, oh, Santa at the Globe, Saturday Evening Post, da da da, da. And she sold it for $99.99. That's awesome. So I looked it up, and I couldn't decide if it was the Norman Rockwell figures I should look up or the brand Islandia International Collection. So I looked at both. All right, Islandia. Um, these are some solds. Again, I mean, it, it looks like it just varies. So if you see them out... Take a look. So here's one that's the the coin toss. That one looked like it did okay. Some of them are, yeah, they're all right. If you get it for a buck or two, there's her Santa at the Globe. That's awesome. Mm, yeah, I mean, so it just kind of varies. And then Norman Rockwell, also, same deal. Some of them, oh, no, this is the Islandia one. What did I do? Okay, which is which? Okay, these are the Norman Rockwell ones. I must have tabbed. Oh, never mind. Just ignore that okay so just you know take it with a grain of salt look it up and see see what you think so here's the teacher one sold for best offer but originally listed for about 50 bucks so pretty good all right let's close out of these i think we're almost ready oh Ginny, Ginny's um facebook group is yes virginia every day is christmas on ebay where she shares a lot of christmas stuff and she's right i mean her Facebook group is dedicated to Christmas items that you can sell. And, <clears throat> pardon me, I've learned so much because when I, let's say you go to an estate sale and you know there's like this whole wall full of Christmas stuff or a room where they put all the Christmas decorations. I just look at that and just like, uh, turn around, head out, because I have no idea. Um, so she's really sharing some really good information about what to look for in, in amongst those things. So, you know, if I can pick out one or two things that I can go in and scan for and slowly start picking up more tips, that's the way to do it, right? Okay, so let's see. Um, let's Be Hefty Thrifter says, I have a bag of old cabinet handles that I picked up at an estate sale. Some are brass with painted porcelain or crystal looking poles. Nice. Um... 
Oh yeah, I go, Rihanna, go check out Jenny's Jenny's group because you might get some tips on things to to look for. Yeah, yeah, and it does. It totally sells all year, right? Christine says I sell some Christmas boxers in March, and some places do Christmas in July. You know, so it's definitely something to. I think Joe was saying even one of his Merch by Amazon shirts, Christmas shirts sold, and it was now. You know. Okay, let's move on. So this is the bolo in. Oh, we changed the num We changed the name of jewelry lovers and sellers to Texas Gal, Texas Gal jewelry lovers because we thought it'd be easier to say. <laughs> okay. So next are the jewelry bowlers. There are a few that aren't jewelry related, but um, we'll see. Okay, here we go. Let me pull this out so you can start. So Tracy shared, um, I know it's not big money, but I challenged myself to sell some male, oh, some mall brand pieces, sorry, I have my glasses on, some mall brand pieces I got in a storage unit. Very happy with this Ann Taylor piece sold in less than a week. So this is the, the necklace. So I said, okay, well, let's look up Ann Taylor because it can, oops, it can be hit or miss depending on the piece, depending on the brand. So here we go. Um, and these are just sold listings. So some are low, some are medium. Um, let's look at buy it now. How about that? Uh, buy it now. Here we go. So I am confused by the lower, lower prices like this. How do you, I don't know how you make money off of selling it so low, but um okay here's one 19.99 that's that's a pretty good price there so some are okay i think i have one like this this bracelet you can't see my cursor right um let's sort how about that let's sort from highest to lowest <clears throat> all right oh here's a big lot that sold a uh, vintage ann taylor ruby necklace bracelet earring set so it looks like some of the more statement pieces maybe will go for higher prices. Yeah, these bib type necklaces and bigger chunky statement pieces. But then again, look at these little earrings. That's nice. Okay. All right. So keep an eye out for Ann Taylor statement pieces. Oh yeah, the, I mean, the, if you get those in the jar for sure, Thelma. She said decent prices for those brands, which are in abundance in jars. Yeah, if you're if you're getting the jar, then you're getting pieces for like seventy five cents a piece, depending on how much you pay for the jar. Definitely, yeah. Okay, the next up, Monica shared. Let's see, this is what Monica shared. Here is a listing of mine for the Nolan, <clears throat> Nolan Miller with the pictures of the back of the mark. It's on the, I can't even read today, on a plate style with the name. Okay, so vintage Nolan Miller, and here is the, the name brand, so you can see at the mark. So you can see just the name, Nolan, I can't talk today, Nolan Miller, there we go. Uh, this is I'm not sure this is a sold or if it's just the listing okay 4377 is what it's up for but I took a look at the sold listings and we're looking at stuff um, you know 15 25 dollars they look like there's a lot of rhinestones I try to look for a theme you know how it you know, that would tie it across all of their pieces. But it looks like a lot of bling, a lot of rhinestones. And look, okay, that's really nice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it just looks like kind of blingy stuff. So take a look at everything, I guess, is the moral of the story here. <laughs> all right, next. Oh, this was a nice one. So this was shared by Julie Gordon. <clears throat> she says, I wasn't sure how to price this, thinking that it's so particular with the date, the school, the initials. She said, I listed it for $150 and started getting offers immediately from several buyers. 
I was wondering why and did I list it too low? So it's a like a class ring, right? I would have thought so too. I, don't, I would have thought, oh, it's, you know, it's a class ring. It's particular to a school and a year and a person. Um, but yeah, she got 135 bucks for it. So I looked it up. I just did a search for Justin's class ring, sold listings, and many of them are very high. So, I mean, a lot of them are 10 karat gold. So that could be a part of it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know a whole lot. Nolan Miller was an 80s Dallas Dynasty. Oh, nice. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so like I'm showing, um, many of them are $100 or more. A few are lower, but I mean, here's one. $314. I mean, this is gorgeous, though. $281. That's beautiful. Okay, so keep an eye out. I don't know that it's all class rings. I didn't look up any other brand class rings, but definitely if you see Justin's, keep an eye out for it. Okay. Something that is happening in the chat. People are retracting messages. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so next up, this was the, this was in jewelry lovers, but not jewelry. Julie said, um, this is from Julie Gordon. <clears throat> used to be my kids used to be my kids toy found it in one of the drawers so this is one of those I always say it wrong hang on Tama y'all I'm gonna butcher this Tamagotchi is that right Tamagotchi and this sold for $49.99 so I was looking at the solds and it looks like yeah just I mean it looks like the older ones maybe and when I say older this one was 2004 so it's not that old I wouldn't think yeah that's 15 14 years ago um 34.99 on that one yep sold um 31 bucks here on this one this is a 1997 some of the newer ones are not selling I mean these are contemporary type ones but look at this a Digimon $52 oh my gosh I wouldn't even know what to look for if I saw these. These are, these are some of the newer ones, 2016. Not so. I'm just trying to scroll down to find some of the older ones. Um, 1996 new in package, 26 bucks. I guess you would just have to. How would you know? I mean, because these are new and they're not worth anything. <laughs> yeah. So. I guess if you see them, look it up. <laughs> because I, I I'm just trying to think, how would I know if I if I saw this out? How would I be able to distinguish between a newer one and an older one? Uh, I can see the Digimon ones are more rectangular, so that helps. But as far as the others, is it? I mean, they're oval. They're egg shaped with a little chimney. The newer ones don't have the chimney. <laughs> I don't know if you know leave a comment letting us know why or where i'm gonna look for the chimney okay i see a little chimney on this one and these have no chimney underneath it i know it's not actually a chimney or is it a chimney yeah okay i don't know so we'll find out i'll let you know if somebody shares or check the comment section okay so there was that this one was a new one for me I mean, I, yeah, it's silver. Hang on, let me scroll down so you can see the actual listing. So here's the actual listing. Yeah, I, I saved silver, but this was very particular, which was new for me. <coughs> Pardon me. Jessica Gardner shared silver Cuban curb chains. All right, very specific type of chain. Silver Cuban curb chain. Picked it up for $2 at a garage sale and it sold within 48 hours. Had it listed at $50 and took a best offer of $40. So I was going to show you guys what a, cur a Cuban curb chain looks like. So as you can see, it's a really heavy style chain and then it's flat. You know, it's got flat um, front and back. So let's take a peek at other solds. I did a search for a sterling silver Cuban curb chain. And some are, 
you know, listings like from wholesalers, but for people like you and I, um, here's one that is Vermeil. I just learned how to say that correctly. Um, just sterling silver with gold over uh, for $49.99. Um, here's another 119. Here's an ID bracelet, 190 or 179. Um, but here, I mean, this is one that's 200 bucks. I'm looking for. I'm trying to scroll past the wholesaler ones. Um, 69.99, 39.99. But it's got that. Here, let me click on this one so you can see that flat style, kind of flattened look to it, front and back. All right, pretty heavy looking. Um, Christine says, I don't think the original ones had the chimney. Okay, on the Tama, Tamaguchi, Tamaguchi. Um, right, yeah, okay. Okay, so then next, Oh, this isn't the last one, is it? I feel like it went so fast. Melissa shared, found this at the thrift store for $3.99. Wasn't familiar with Chan Lu, but saw the sterling clasp. Posted a message to the group, wasn't sure what the beads were made of, and I was given the tip that it was bone. Sold it on best offer for $70. Thanks, jewelry lovers group. Um, so here we go. This is a Chan Lu necklace and I see wood I'm looking for the bone okay so CL right there's the clasp okay but watch this this is one that when I saw some of the solds I'm kicking myself because I feel like I probably have seen this in jewelry jars and not known okay so it's this this style there's a bunch of these that are like that woven style with the little beads woven into it um how do you know if it's cuban vintage it's just the style like different chain links have different names you know like serpentine or um byzantine um so i think just the style of that heavy chain with the flat flattened um what well, looks like wood is bone oh thanks rihanna um so it's just the name of the style of the chain yeah different chains have different names so yeah, tricky, tricky. So Chan Lu, I was scrolling through like, okay, let's look. It, you know, it's got like these beads. Look at this. This is sold. 160 Chan Lu adjustable beaded bracelet. But look at the style. You'll see what I'm talking about. This kind of style, you know, or the one where it's, um, here, I'll just pull up. The, I was saving this one to show you. I'm almost certain I've seen this. But look, I can tell you if I saw this in a jar, without knowing, like at this moment, I would have thought, oh my gosh, this cord is grossing me out. I'm trying to make it bigger, hang on. Why isn't it letting me make it bigger? Um, hang on, let me re refresh the page. I'm trying to make it bigger. -er. Refresh, please. Ah, okay, I'll have to look at it, Rhiannon. Okay, so look. So this style of bracelet, I, I have seen in so many of the jars, but wait till you get to, uh, wait till I show you the edges. And this is your listing, sorry, I'm not picking on your listing. I'm just like, I mean, look at the pieces that like you would pull on them and they're, you could see they're all like, like dirty from people's fingers or something. Um, but yeah, sold for, let me go back to what it sold for, sold for $29 for this bracelet. I'm just, yeah, my jaw dropped when I saw that. And this is not the one that she shared, but just, here we go. Look, you can see. And even the little button has got like the verdigris kind of on it, like eh, it's, but Chan Lu, I'm gonna definitely be on the lookout for this now, because I would have never, I mean, you can see the knot and how it's, I don't know what the word is for that, but like finger oils have gotten on it and yeah, right. Thelma says, I ran into those too. I would have never known. But now I'm like, oh yeah, I've got my eyes open for you now. So let me scroll back down because there were some others. You know, that was 29 That was on auction. Um, this is $19.99 on this one. Uh, $33. I just, I would have never known. Little tassel one. 
I mean, there were scarves. Look here, here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. $109 for this one. Precious stone mix five wrap bracelet. Chan Lu black leather wrap bracelet, matte black silver beads, $60. <sighs> I'm just wondering, right? Real Treasure says, I think I have some very similar and recent jewelry bag. I was about to toss them. I, I'm just like, I am almost certain that I have redonated or just like, ugh, this is garbage. This looks so gross. It's like finger oils all over this. Yeah. Look, here's another one. It's that woven style. I'm, I'm scrolling past the clothes because, look, here's another one. 32 bucks. 13 bids on this one. I'm clicking on it. Ah, it keeps jumping on me. Look, I mean, come on. And there's that button, right? Hang on, that button closure, which I know I have seen. Okay, I'll just let it go. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> okay, so those are the bolos. I thank you guys for coming to check it out. Um, definitely go join jewelry, well, Texas Gal Jewelry Lovers and join the Bolo thread as well as International League of Thrifters. And I will see you guys later. Definitely leave a, a comment down below with a Bolo, thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. I have too many windows open. I'm, I'm pretending like I'm saying bye, but I'm not yet until I find the right one. Where is it? There it is, okay. Um, I will talk to you guys later, and thanks for coming. Bye, everybody.